My love is everlasting Ever, ever. Everlasting to everlasting Ever, oh, ever. Girl, you make me upgrade my tactics oh, How long? Oh. How long are we going at this? How long are we going at this? Yeah Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian Football Boxer. Please, if you're new to this channel, make sure to click the like and of course the sub subscribe button and also go to the notification bell icon. Click it and select all. Okay, please select all. Click the bell, the notification bell icon. So that also never open a new. Uh, so this video will definitely be notified right here. Breaking news, guys: Deonta Wilder versus Jan Jilei is reportedly now being finalized for June first in Saudi Arabia on the same show as Arthur Arthur Berabiev versus Dimitri Bivor, according to Mike Coppinger of ESPN. Wow, 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 is what I must say. So, Deontay Wada and Zhang Jilei are in the process of finalizing a deal for June 1st. Can you believe it, guys? June 1st in Riyadh. So, what, what, what was my... Like, basically, let me tell you one thing right now, man. So... Let me tell you things right now. We at we talked about this fight some time back, right? Because Saudi Arabia has been trying to finalize this fight. This fight is the perfect comeback fight for the Ante Water. I tell you right now, this is a dangerous fight. This fight can go either way. John Jale can knock water out. Wilder can knock John Jilei out. This makes more sense. In fact, this should have happened before the Parker fight. Parker was um stylistically was a bad match for the onto Wilder because Parker is a mover. Wilder don't want to see you move that much like that. He wants you to stand still. He wants you to he wants you to fight as a man, and he can let his hands go. But what, do I, what the thing is that what kind of what type of water are we going to see? The Saudis are still very much interested in the underwater fighting in their country. Even did even the underwater said it as well. You know, he said it as well that they still want him to be back. They still want him to come back. You know, and that is very, very, um, very interesting for boxing. We have to be very thankful to the Saudis though. His Excellency Turkey Alashik, who has been putting up great ma uh, events in Saudi Arabia for boxing. What does Wada have left to prove? He has a lot to prove. Wada's last performance was a disappointing one. The loss to Joseph Parker was disappointing because not not the fact not because he lost Parker, but in the manner in which he lost, there was no zeal. There was no like basically there was no no hunger. Wada wasn't let his hands go he couldn't let his hands go he just it's not a water it's not the same water with all his none the water would know would have at least put more pressure on, on parker and try at least land that right hand I, i'm just thinking about it right now if water landed the right hand on parker parker would have gone down probably gone out john delay and Wilder are very heavy handed guys. But I do feel that Wilder's power is is more devastating. You know, he might be the smaller guy. But he's 
but this power is is a scary one. Even Fury just came out recently to say, "Listen, Wilder's power is more disastrous, is more devastating than Gano's power." Fury fought both, and got dropped by both. So, I don't know if he's saying it because Joshua already knocked out uh, Gano, and uh, everybody now just they they now just they not they not they not look at Gano as food. But Gano is not food, bro. Gano is probably gonna prove a lot of people, a lot of people wrong if he decides to to continue boxing because that guy is a quick learner. He's athletic already. He's uh, he's got a good chin. He just got caught by a monster of a man into the Joshua, and a Joshua who is like very basically like advanced. So. Uh, Joshua who has improved immensely, bro. June first, it's crazy. This year alone, we are gonna be seeing great fights. So this might be a very good fight to measure Water. Water can knock Jangeli out. He can, but it will have it will have to be later later rounds. Water have to be prepared for twelve round fight. A uh, twelve round fight. John Lee gasses out a lot. Like his gas tank is not is not the best. He's a there is a devastating guy. A devastating uh puncher. But his gas tank is his gas tank is questionable. And I don't think John Lee is one of those guys that will that will lean on you and uses his size to bully you in the ring like Fury does. I don't see him as that. So I don't know. Has Water fought a southpaw? Who who did what a fight as a support? But I don't know, man. I thought speaker was is not a support, yeah. He's not. Is he? No, 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 no. So, bro. Damn, man. Water hasn't fought a support yet. But Jung Lee is a different kind of support. He carries power, bro. But what else it does? Water will land. That's a that's a fact. Water will land on Jung Lee. He will lag on Jung Lee. Fact. He will land on him. But we'll see how how much Jung Lee takes part of Water's punches. If he can take it like he took uh, Parker's on, then he will, he will be he will beat Water. But if you can't take it, that will be the beginning, the beginning of the end for 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 Zhang. Wow, wow, wow! Boxing is is gonna be crazy this year. Saudi Arabia, like they are putting out great matchup. Can't wait. What do you guys make of this matchup right here? Give it to us below, like the video, share, subscribe, and God bless you for this great channel. Stay tuned. Cheers. Forever, ever and ever. Tell me about the night treasure You were sent down for living